Greetings, Dr. Mark Winton here, your instructor. And what I'd like to do is to take a few minutes and to try to integrate, discuss um, a best-selling book that seems to be the social craze right now. And that is the book by E.L. James, Fifty Shades of Grey. And um, I see that there is lots of discussion on this book. And um, I did check it out from our local library, which is interesting because the library up the road apparently uh, doesn't have it because it is classified as pornography. The library in my community uh, classified it as um, fiction. And um, it's a New York Times bestseller. And um, I marked one place to uh, make some commentary. But, but I think the important thing to do, um, you know, someone like myself who's been studying this, uh, you know, for years and years and years, it's really nothing new. And I'll refer you to some of the, um, you know, better sources uh, from a scientific perspective. But I think it's important to begin to recognize as someone who's studying criminal profiling, and maybe someone also who uh, may be involved in uh, studying um, sex crimes or sexual deviance or working in the mental health field with sexual issues, to have an understanding of, um, of, of some of the themes. And um, to also be able to differentiate what would be legal versus illegal behavior and what would be, um, you know, considered to be uh, a psychiatric disorder versus, um, uh, you know, deviations from the norm, perhaps. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the, the first thing I would mention is that if we get out our Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, we find two um, areas of interest, and they are under the sexual and gender identity disorders. These would be considered paraphilias, or unusual sexual practices, and um, 302.83 and 302.84 are diagnostic categories for sexual masochism and also sexual sadism. Now, in looking at the diagnosis, for example, for sexual masochism, and I will read from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. I'll just uh, re re read the diagnosis rather than trying to summarize it. It's um, criteria A. Over a period of at least six months, recurrent, intense, sexually arousing fantasy, sexual urges, or behaviors involving the act, real, not simulated, of being humiliated, beaten, bound, or otherwise made to suffer, and B, the fantasy, sexual urges, or behaviors cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. And let me go ahead and read sexual sadism. Uh, it's, it's very similar with a little twist, of course. Over a period of at least six months, recurrent, intense, sexually arousing fantasy, sexual urges, or behaviors involving acts, real, not simulated, in which the psychological or physical suffering, including humiliation of the victim, is sexually exciting to the person. And B, the person has acted on these sexual urges with a non-consenting person, or the sexual urges or fantasies cause marked distress or interpersonal difficulty. Okay, so there we have um, two diagnostic categories, and someone could actually be diagnosed with the mental disorder of sexual masochism or sexual sadism. And the first question I would pose to you, if you have heard about this book or read it, um, to be quite honest, I skimmed this book. I, I scanned it um, very quickly just to kind of get the idea of it. Um, I found um, that it had a lot of repetition uh, to it in, in, in that regard, so I didn't think I needed to do a careful uh, quantitative content analysis. Although I'm sure that will be uh, something that will be done by uh, researchers in the future. But back to the diagnostic and statistical aspects. Um, again, what we have here, when it becomes a mental disorder, is when it's a problem for the person, when the person is disturbed by it, when it creates problems in their, in their work life, in their relationships, and in their general psychological and social functioning. And this becomes problematic for the person. So that means that in this book, if the two 
um, uh, actors, uh, Christian Grey and Anastasia. Uh, I'm sorry, um, Anastasia. A little Freudian slip there, Anastasia, you know. Um, sorry, I prefer reading philosophy books. But anyway, um, Anastasia, and okay, Anna, we'll call her for short. Um, you know, the big question first I would ask, uh, does Christian, um, would he be diagnosed with sexual sadism and would Anna be diagnosed with sexual masochism? This is something that's clinically relevant and um, a, a problem for them. Is, is that, you know, the case? So that's the first thing that I would ask you to consider in, in looking at this material um, is to consider, to put your value judgments aside, because if you're working on a particular case and you find there are aspects of sadomasochistic behavior, that doesn't necessarily mean a mental disorder is going on. It doesn't necessarily mean a crime's been committed. Maybe a crime has been committed, maybe not. The big uh, aspects here, of course, are age and consent from the legal perspective, and from the clinical perspective, it's really if the uh, activities cause a disruption and disturbance in the person's life. And so, um, there will be times when you might find that there is some sadomasochistic themes to any investigation. Um, in Fifty Shades of Grey, there, uh, what was of interest to me, of course, was um, uh, chapter 11, uh, which was um, the contract that Christian makes with Anna regarding the sadomasochistic relationship. And in there, you can see there's a lot of terms. And, and, and of course, my recommendation would be to look at the professional literature and become very familiar with these uh, terms and terminology. Um, and I would also recommend, this is kind of the classic book, uh, Studies in Dominance and Submission, edited by Thomas S. Weinberg. Um, uh, and uh, Thomas S. Weinberg, uh, professor of sociology. And um, in this book, basically, you have uh, kind of a qualitative and quantitative analysis by many researchers looking at what is relatively rare behavior. It's relatively rare to find sadomasochism diagnoses in clinical practice. It's relatively rare to find um, um, a lot of sadomasochistic activities in um, society, although there are some that practice this and find it exciting and do it in consenting ways. And, you know, I think that's really in the, in the Fifty Shades of Grey. It seems to me from, uh, again, my brief overview that what you have basically are two consenting adults having a sadomasochistic um, sex play as part of their relationship, or really that is their relationship. I don't think there really is that much more. Um, in, 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 in that regard. Uh, but I would step back a moment and also ask why all of a sudden has this book become such a bestseller at this particular moment in historical time in our society? Uh, what makes this book, um, you know, become a number one uh, bestseller? And uh, apparently there's book two and book three as well. Uh, but there's more to this, uh, at least when I was scanning through it. Uh, I did notice there was another theme, and maybe the author, E.L. James, will uh, you know, bring those themes out more in the second and third book. But it appears to me that Christian Gray is a survivor of um, serious physical uh, abuse. And um, uh, there's some other uh, aspects as, as, as well. And of, of course, there's the very important part of the differentiation of fantasy from reality. And, um, and I would go back to sexual scripting analysis and, and kind of to wrap this up, uh, when you think about analyzing any of these uh, sadomasochistic scenes, whatever they might be, whether you're investigating it as a researcher or as a law enforcement officer or, um, uh, you know, as a literary uh, person, look at the sexual script that materializes. Think about the who, the what, the where, the when, and the how. The who, what, when, where, and the how. And try to put that into some kind of perspective. In under, other words, and um, when I analyze uh, scenarios, I try to look at them as an ongoing drama, similar to the